OK, another very interesting shootout here. On the left, we've got a MacBook Air um, with an M2 processor and 8 gigabytes of RAM. And on the right, we've got the brand new um, Surface Laptop 7 with an ARM processor, 16 gigs of RAM. Now, the, um, I'm going to be running FL Studio, obviously, and that is native to Apple. So there should be a slight advantage there. Um, what we're really doing is testing out the um, x86 ARM uh, compatibility layer. I don't know what you call it, what else you call it on the uh, Surface Laptop 5. Now the last year's Surface Pro 9 did really well in this same shootout. So uh, it's interesting. It's going to be interesting for some people. It may not be interesting for you. Um, in which case, what are you doing watching? Anyway, here we go. Let's not waste any more time. Let's kick them off. And I'll give you percentage readouts. First one will be the uh, on the left, which is the MacBook. Uh, and the second will be the obviously the Surface Laptop 7. So we're looking at 20 on the left versus 16 on the right, 17 on the right. Uh, 18, 19 on the left versus 17, 16 on the right. So slight advantage to the Surface Laptop. The numbers represent the total processor percentage um, at this current point in time for, for this app. Um, we're looking at 1920 still on the left against 1415. So not too dissimilar to um, yesterday's test. Um, the Surface Laptop 5 serves, you know, slightly better, slightly lower figures, which is only to be expected, I guess. Um, we're now coming into the faster section, so these numbers, these percentage numbers should increase. Currently 1415 versus 14, 15 on the right, so neck and neck at this point in time. So let's see what happens when things speed up a bit in this next section. Uh, I can hear they've gone slightly out of sync, but uh, not so much that it's going to bother us. Um, we're now looking at 21, 24 on the left against 21, 24 on the right, so neck and neck. 25 on the left versus 26 on the right, 26 on the left, 27 on the left versus 28. 27 on the right, so they are neck and neck. Same interestingly as yesterday's test, which was the same laptop on the left, the Surface, I mean the uh, MacBook Air with the M2 processor, no gigs of RAM, uh, but with the Surface Pro 9, the ARM based uh, laptop from uh, Microsoft, with last year's SQ3 ARM chip as opposed to the Snapdragon X in, the, in this one. Um, 32 now on the left versus 28 on the right, so still got a slight advantage for the um, Surface laptop, as you might expect, uh, given how well the Surface Pro 9 did yesterday. Although I would have expected it to do even better than it is doing, but perhaps there's more work to be done on that x86 layer yet. Anyway, um, still very respectable. Um, as I say, it's native on the um, native on the uh, on Mac OS in there, so there's a slight advantage to um, what is an older laptop on the left. Still doing extremely well. 26 versus 27, so neck and neck at this point has just dropped down on the right. Uh, 26 versus 21 on the right at the moment, 18 on the right, and now drop down to oh, 20 on the left versus 18 on the right. So I think we've probably done enough there, um, probably got bored. Um, summary is, yes, the Surface Laptop uh, is running slightly, is making it a slightly easier job. It's having to use less processing power to do the same job. Um, and I would say that the work that Microsoft have done on the, uh, the layer between x86 apps like, like um, FL Studio and ARM native apps, um, they've done a good job. Um, certainly to get something as we saw yesterday and i keep harking back i was surprised how well the surface pro 9 did yesterday the arm based um surface uh pro 9 um and similar today with the surface laptop 7 although a later um laptop more more memory this comes with a base model is 16 gig um anyway i started waffling you can make your own conclusions um both great, both great laptops for FL Studio. Please your money and takes your choice. Thanks very much. If you've enjoyed it, please give this video a like. 
Um, and if you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.